cheese again obviously and today as you guys saw in the beginning of the video I will be showing you guys how to make a zombie apocalypse type world using only uh, using only one two three four five six and seven command blocks so pretty easy and it works great so let's begin so for the first command, th for the f these two first blocks are the system that allows zombies to multiply when they're killed. So for the first command, you want I'll show you guys. You want to go in, and the command is slash execute at e type, uh, and then in square brackets type equals item comma name equals and then in qu quotations rod and flash so that you can put the space, and then closing square bracket. And then tilde space tilde space tilde and if you guys don't know what a tilde is it's basically this squiggling a squiggly symbol right here so after that you want to put summon zombie and then tilde space tilde space tilde now you also want to have this on repeat as the block type and redstone always active and then you want to put the delay in ticks to 1. Now, if you're on PC, you can't use the delay in ticks command. So, if you're on PC, I don't know how you guys can do the delay, but if you're on bedrock, this works perfectly fine. Now, what this command does is when a rotten flesh is on the ground, it will spawn zombies like it just did now. So, that's what that command does. Now, if I go back up here, the second command is just kill and guys you don't have to put in the slash but you can if you want to but well, I didn't put it in on this block but it doesn't really matter so this one is kill at e and then in square brackets type equals item name equals run flesh and then closing square bracket now this before I tell you guys what it does you want to have it the same as the other block but the delay in ticks to 10 so what this does is when there is rotten flesh on the ground it kills it so that it doesn't spawn too many zombies now if you guys do wait a little while somewhere further in the video i'm not going to tell you guys when but further in the video i will be showing you guys what happens if that command is disabled now we're gonna have like uh, now i will show you guys how to do the special effects for zombies to make it a little bit harder so the first one is slash effect at r and then in square brackets type equals zombie and then you can do any effect you want but the effects I recommend are speed health boost strength jump boost and yeah that's it and then the next number this one right here is how long in seconds so I like setting it to 1 million so just in case the command block stopped working the zombie won't lose its effect and then this next number is the amplifier I like setting this to 2 because it doesn't make it too hard, but it doesn't make it too easy either. Easier. Uh, either. And then this true just means that it will hide the particles. Now, for the block type, you want it on repeat. Redstone always active. And then delay in ticks to 200. So every 10 seconds, it will affect a zombie. Now, this next block has the same settings and stuff as the other one. But the effect instead is strength. So if you guys looked at the previous block, you can just replace the effect to strength. And then this one is health boost. Now I put four on the uh, four as the amplifier because that doubles your HP. So it makes and uh, because if you do two, it will only um, multiply their HP by 1.5, and that's kind of a weird number. So I set it to four so that it's doubled. And then this is the same with jump boost. Now this last block is one of the most important. This is um, fire resistance for the zombies. 
so that during the day they won't burn. Now you don't have to put this if you don't want it, but it just does make it a little bit more harder and a little bit more fun to use it. And now you want the delay in ticks on this one to be five. And it's the same, but you want the amplifier to be 255 just in case. And then the rest is all the same. Now here, I'll show you guys. If I set the time today, time set, not night, day. Then if I go down here, and where's run and flash? Oh, it's right here. If I put it down, you guys will see that the zombies will burn for one second, but then they'll stop. So as you can see, they're burning and they're, now they've stopped. So that just makes it a bit harder and a bit more fun. Now these are just my personal preference blocks just to kill any item drops that I wouldn't, uh, that I don't need in this world from other mobs like witches. And that just kills the witch. And this is just for gunpowder and spider eyes. But you guys don't need that in your worlds. Now, before you're ready to use this, you have to do one more thing. Which is, once you go too far away, here, I'll actually show you guys. If you go, actually, it would be better if I equipped Elytra. And rockets. If I can find them again. Where are the rockets? I think I lost them. Okay, let's see. Rock. Oh, there it is. Flight duration one. Now, if I go far away enough, which I think, if there's land over here, I can show you guys. Right here. Okay, perfect. So now, if I'm over here, the chunks where the command blocks are, they actually, if I was over here normally. This, uh, the system wouldn't work because the chunks back there, they aren't loaded. So the command, uh, the game doesn't know that those command blocks are running, but using just one command, I can, you can make it so that it will work everywhere. Now I will go back and show you guys what that command is. In just a second, once I make it back. There it is. Okay. So now I don't have that command in an actual block, but I'll tell you guys what to do. So if you set your command blocks up in an area like I have, where it's in the sky, or in a designated area away from everything else, you have to go to two of the corners and just build out a little bit so that it cover, um, so that when you do this command, it will cover the entire area. You just want to have something like this so that you can stand on these blocks. So. What you want to do is you stand on the first block. Then you want to look at the top left up there where it shows my coordinates and you want to note that down. Now, once you've done that, you want to go to that block too and note that down too. But I'm just going to begin the command, which is slash taking area. I'll just do it like this and then add and then from, uh, from where you are, so for, I think, yeah, on Bedrock Edition, it actually shows you, if you look on the side where my keyboard is right now, your exact coordinates, so you can just type them in. So for me, it's 41, 100, and then negative 20. And now, you after you've noted on the second coordinates, you'd wanna put them here too, but since I don't have them, I'm just gonna copy this command quickly, and then I'll go check those coordinates. So once I've got this command, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to paste it in. So for you guys, you'd already have this noted down. And at this point, you'd be typing this in. So 55, 104, negative 6. And then you can name it anything you want. But since I already, I'm just going to show you guys. I'll just name this test. And then, boom, now it says 2. Uh, for you guys, I will say one out of ten ticking area is in use at the top, but since I already have one set up here for these commands, it says two out of ten. So once you've done that, you can go anywhere in the world and it will work anywhere you want. Now, for the for the people that have waited, I will show you guys what happens if it does not if the command block doesn't kill rotten flesh. 
Now this is what happens. Oh, is this on? Oh no, a zombie picked it up. I should probably set it to easy mode. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Once it loads, which it has. So, boom. when I throw it down, they're just not gonna stop spawning. They're just gonna keep going. Look at this. Oh, my game's starting to lag. I should probably stop that Watch now. Watch for help, because it's really laggy now. So I'm gonna quickly kill these zombies so I can actually continue what I was gonna say next. Die. All of you die. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't know, healing actually hurts zombies, so that's why I'm using these. Oh no, it's just gonna keep spawning more. Oh shoot, I should turn off this. I should really turn off this. Actually, I can just kill all of them. Slash kill at E. And then type eco zombie. Now the last thing I wanted to say was I will be doing a second version of this in the future. I don't know when, but it will be happening. And that will have more things like a blood moon where zombies are stronger. And then the zombie multiplying system was, oh my God, the XP here. The zombie multiplying system will also be changed. And then I think, yeah, also the effect, uh, the zombies having special effects system will be different. So if you guys would like to see that, just press, just hit like or comment so that you can, so that you can let me know. And that's all for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.